food, but I have to say this. What is the four corners then? Huh? Listen, uh, yesterday somebody sent me this email around Einstein. I have to tell you this. So it was about Einstein goes to heaven and said if he's a choice of four dorm mates. And the first dorm mate's got an IQ of 200. And so Einstein says, you know, I could probably discuss maths with him. Mm. And the next dorm mate has an IQ of 150. And he says, I could discuss physics with him. And the third one has 100. And he says, I could discuss theater. No offense, Matt. <laughs> and the last guy has an IQ of 75. And he says, you know, I could discuss which way the world is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. So maybe I'm stepping into my own toes by answering that question. What's, where do I believe the world? But mm. all the signs right now seem to be that we're coming out of this. Maybe a second stimuli is needed. Is needed? I would think so. I would think so because after all, there is a lot of overcapacity in the world. Unemployment is still very high. There's been a lot of loose monetary policy which could get tightened. So it's fair to assume that you could need some second stimuli as well. It's the so rates are headed up further, you think? I would think so. The question now is, are they headed up further in the first quarter of the coming calendar year? Or are they headed up further a year down the line? Right. But certainly they're headed. But is banking on course with respect to ensuring that the lessons that they've learned are sort of changing the way banking is done, in India in particular? Because as you said, you know, we weren't sort of uh, badly hit. So are, are we sprucing up the system? Yeah, I, I think firstly this crisis in many ways, I think the world has become a better place to live in. Mm. There were many structural imbalances, those have got corrected, right. humility is Arrogance has gone humility, up. Humility, <laughs> arrogance has come down, yeah. humility has gone up. I think the globality of the world has truly got uh, recognized, coordinated actions. So I think there's a much better place to live in than what it was probably in an imbalance, yeah. euphoria imbalance about you know two years ago. I yeah. think compensation will get readjusted. So I think in many ways, all That's good a stuff. sore subject, isn't it? This whole compensation story, right from what happens in New York's banking, uh, you know, boardrooms down to what happens here. As a banker, do you think it's an overstated subject, compensation bonuses for bankers? You know, the truth like in many things lies somewhere in the middle. People so you have, admit sometimes these are inflated? I think people have focused far too much on the amount of compensation. Now that's a wrong way to focus. You should focus on the basis of compensation. Mm. So I think it's the compensation structure needs to be readjusted with right. clawbacks and everything. Like I think all bankers, you're taking me round and round about the way compensation is done. Huh? Okay, let, let, you've heard this one before. Don't they say golf is uh, really a game that's played on a six inch course, the one between your ears? As, as a challenge, what does golf throw up to you that comes across as something that you feel uh, on the chair as a banker as well? The big challenge. Unpredictability of the next step or the next shot. Uh, sitting, sitting in my office, it's very simplistic to assume that the forward path is going to be an extrapolation of what happened in the previous three months. Exactly the same with golf. Great shot, get onto the next hole, you could have a crap shot. So I think that's probably the, the closest parallel. Closest parallel and probably what we're going to do next if we can see whether Gunit's going to match his first shot on out of the game. We're headed ahead. Uh -huh.